Again, we have to realize that Lake Okanagan is one of the most sought after lakes to be on during the summer months. Which is why it may come as no surprise that Okanagan Lake is the most drowned in body of water in the province. In fact, in a period of nine days, three men died in water related incidents on the lake. So far this year, the um, summertime accidental drownings we've had in Lake Okanagan have increased by one or two over the past few years. Uh, for the previous four years, we had three or two within the lake. Uh, at this present time, we have four reported. This year, 40% of the drownings occurred in the interior, with 79% of those being men. Most of uh, the activities of the males may be a little bit more risk-taking uh, than that of the females. Um, males seem to be uh, more inclined to take on the more adventurous recreational sports. While the recent drownings in the Okanagan are still under investigation, the BC Coroner's Service will most likely conduct a toxicology report on each victim in order to cross out all possible contributing factors. We find in, in a great deal of uh, the cases with drownings and associated drownings, there is a high percentage where there has been uh, some type of uh, substance abuse or substance use uh, involved in the case. Now, whether it is the final contributing factor or just one of the contributing factors uh, is determined by the end of the investigation. The most recent water-related death is not considered an accidental drowning. However, the incident is putting into question the safety of those using personal watercrafts after a man on a jet ski slammed into a log boom and died. You're taking a risk anytime you're on the water, but uh, if you don't know the area, you don't know how to operate the vessel all that well, you're, you're just coming in and, and just you know, maybe the first time you ever operated that any boat it pays to take the time to learn how to operate those properly. And while summer may be drawing to a close, that doesn't mean there isn't a risk of another accidental drowning on Okanagan Lake, which is why everyone should use extra caution when out on the water. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.